this clip is not the best quality. Don't worry. It'll get a lot better, but I just am almost done resetting my hair for the quarter. Um, the full video is on Patreon, but I am finishing my trim. I'm doing a quarterly trim this year. I have a In Q1, I think I took really good hair, hair care of my hair. Um, I gave it lots of special attention and yeah, I just, I think it's thriving. It's happy. I'm still contemplating cutting it off as per usual. That's kind of just how I roll if you're new here. I'm always thinking of cutting my hair. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a low ponytail here to start. Um, but other than that, my hair is good. I will say I have been using the Revere more than I thought I would. <laughs> I definitely use the Dyson as much as I thought it would. And, you know, come real spring here in a moment, I will definitely be using that Dyson a lot to diffuse my hair because that's how I roll. I tried a new technique with the Revere to blow it out as well. And, um, yeah. I, I could see that I'm getting more use out of it than I thought I would. The only way to get the cost use out of it is if it lasts several years. So we'll see what happens with that. I mean, I haven't heard of a lot of people having like issues with it lasting. I'm not going to touch up the color though. So I'm just going to do a really loose twist. Really loose, right? Um, You get, my ends are fresh, so it's going to be harder for them to stay. And then like pull it around until it's back in the front and create a bun that I am going to pan down. I just like my hair to be easy. <laughs> easy styles, easy come, easy go. I'm not doing like edge stuff and all that, but I'm going to pin this down so that it sits a particular way on my head. And then we'll handle the back ponytail. For the back here, I'm actually going to create another twist with a bit more definition. So I'm going to keep my hands closer together. I'm going to pin this down so it kind of comes over the hair tie. All oh, right, like it's covering the hair tie. So then we go and put, like tuck this under and pin it under the bun. And it just ends up being something a little different and up to. This is an updo. I wear two formal events, but she's cute and I love it. So this is the beginning of like the beauty refresh, right? So let's get into empties and a lovely lip combo that I'm wearing for spring. It's cute. It's different. Wait for it. All right, we've got the bun in the frame. We've got our empties and this lip color in there, isn't it? Cute and it's not expensive. It's like $12. <laughs> I think it's a $12 lip color combo. If it's wrong, I'll put it here, but it's like definitely cheap. Um, but it's just giving spring. It's giving every day. It's like that perfect muted shade that I was trying to find as a stain and I'm still looking for. So if you have a stain or know a stain that's this color, let me know. But it's just, it's giving. All right, so let's go through what I used up this winter. And if you want to see what I'm using moving forward in spring, check out Patreon. So first up, La Roche Prose Cleanser. So I use the Hydrating Gentle Cleanser and immediately after purchasing it, I realized that the formula has changed. This is not as cleansing as it used to be. Um, so I use it up. I use it as a morning cleanser and to help remove makeup because it's just not cleansing enough. And I, so I won't purchase this. I got into the cream cleanser. I can't think of what it is. Um, when I was traveling as a travel size and it has been so much better. Then this is the medicated gel cleanser, which I actually used morning and evening. It was fine. Um, I find that the salicylic acid in here can be too much for my skin. Um, and it's definitely too much when I'm um, in the midst of getting facials, which I am now. I need a gentler cleanser that's just thorough. That ain't it. But if you can handle this like strength, 
this is a good cleanser. Then I finally ran, <laughs> ran out of my Camille Rose Curlite Moisture Butter. I used it on one of my last set of twists, more recent, and I freaking love this. It's still the goat of life, works beautifully. I love it on dry hair if you want to style your hair dry, like move it from like twist to a bun or something. It smells like all Camille Rose products. Oh, just good. And it it took forever to go through because you don't need a lot. It's good. Y'all, I ran out of this big old thing of gel. Finally, my Ampro gel. Um, this is the olive oil. This is a stronghold one that I really, really like for wash and goes, especially in these warm months coming. But I actually use it up on a bun. <laughs> Uh, not on this, uh, not on a wash and go, but yeah, love this. Have loved April for a long time. Ran out of my Black Girl Sunscreen SPF 30. Definitely already re-upped, like I said in the in the video on Patreon, um, because it's warm out. I'm trying to do daily walks, which you'll hear more about. And uh, yeah, I just need this for the body, right? Ran out, oh, and I'm no longer using one of these, so... I ran out of the salicylic acid 2%, as you could see here. Um, it was good to my skin while I was trying to get like it under control. Eventually, I just went back to facials and that did what it needs to be done. Like, yeah. But this was great because it didn't irritate my skin. I could put it on before moisturizer or in my moisturizer to deal with any acne um, to kind of help calm the skin, make the acne go through faster. This was fine. The Grand Active Retinol, Retinoid 2% Emulsion was not fine for my skin. My skin did not like this at all. And I'm giving it to my sister because I only used it like a few times before I realized it was a no-go. So yeah, that one, it just wasn't good for my skin. The Ordinary, the ordinary as like Acid Suspension 10%. Love this. My skin loved this. If you have sensitive skin and you're dealing with hyperpigmentation or acne flare-ups, this is the way to go. Hormonal acne is a biatch. And this just calms my skin down so fast and it just feels good. It's nice um, and it doesn't allow the pigmentation to like settle deeply yet. And it's good at turnover. It's just, I really enjoyed this. I would continue to use it if I wasn't getting facials, but I, I just stick with basic now that I've got back to getting facials. Different Adapalene gel. I did not run out of this, but I will not be using it anymore. So I'm going to give it to my nephew. It'll be good for him. This was the best thing I found in the store to deal with uh, my acne, especially the cystic acne. This is the 0.1%. This was the best thing to that I found. But in the end, I determined that like, I just, if I have flare ups like that, I just need to go to the dermatologist. Repeated flare ups, I should say. Ran out of my Oma Beauty Drama Balm. I run out of this every quarter, naturally. Um, I ran out of this Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep Powder. This is the travel size and I picked up another one. In one of my last vlogs, I went through the travel stuff and what I replaced it with. So check that out. I think it was my February vlog. Um, I ran out of my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. This is also travel size. And my Fenty Beauty Soft Matte travel size. Run out of this as well. I travel enough to where I'm going to run out of my travel size products and need new ones. So lip combo of life. Do y'all see this lip? It is just giving. It is... It's the perfect everyday spring if you like color, but it's not too bright and it's not muted. It's just somewhere in between because of the combination. And like I said, this is cheap. This is the NYX, NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color what, uh, Ber Berlin. I don't see it on here, but yeah, oh, there it is, Berlin. This is cheap. I don't remember how much. I think it's like $6, but it's so like the perfect brown girl tone and what I do is I put it around like to line the lips and like in a little on my top lip because it's very colored and then like it's a deeper tone and then over the top of it I go with these cherry skies in the NYX uh, matte lipstick and between the two this was like a $13 combo you can get in Ulta NYX is also sold in Target so you might be able to find it there but now I'm thirsty because I've been talking <laughs> I feel like the lawn people are out every week and <laughs> which they could be <laughs> but like when I want to film <sighs> hopefully y'all can't hear it as much I've been sipping on this this is a matcha latte it's so good mm-hmm and the transfer has not been extensive to the straw like the lip color is still there. Let, let me find out. This is the lip stain I was looking for. I just need to apply it a little differently. Let
let me find out. Also, I put on my jacket because I'm cold. I turned off the heat and I'm cold because we're in that in-between phase. Anyways, anyways, let's talk about my wins and my fails <laughs> this season. So Q1 of the year is for me is all about setting up these goals, setting up routines and touching everything you know, for Q2, like at least hit every goal. May not make progress on every goal, but hit every goal. Now I will say having goals group, which if you don't know about that, check it out on Patreon, has been great because it's forced me to actually look at these things every week, actually use my planner and decide to make some progress, right? Cause I'm reporting it out. I knew it would cause I've had that experience before, but I really appreciate goals group. Now, my personal goal was just to develop routines and I really think I did that y'all. I have my morning routine down again and I'm much more like lax with it, but still strict. If that makes sense, it may not. Um, I got my beauty routine together. I'm back doing facials, back doing all the self care stuff. My nails be done. <laughs> I'm back to doing all the things. My horror, as you know, is always a vibe. So that succeeded as far as recreation goes. I just wanted to take time for me. I wanted to at least do two activities every month. I wanted to make sure I took time off in the first quarter. I wanted to go on a trip and I did all of that. Like all of that has happened. And for me, that is like the biggest step towards me finding life harmony because that's missing, been missing for years. And part of that was necessary, right? Building as much as I built in the amount of time it took, took a lot of sacrifice naturally, but I have to unlearn some of that and enjoy the life I've built, right? And so I'm trying to do that this year. More about that in a moment. Work, I wanted to become an expert, more of an acknowledged expert in my field. And this first quarter has definitely shown me that I just don't know people be talking about me. I don't know where my name is being said and in what rooms, right? Um, I just do my job and I try to do it well. I try to be a, a, a service to the industry and I have, you know, this is a career. I have a long way to go, but your girl has already seen like progress that she didn't expect this year. And I'm just going to keep going, doing the best I can. And then as far as like learning, I'm, I started to try to, um, a one course, but I switched to a photography course so I can learn to use my equipment better. So yeah, it was kind of a flop, but also a success because I made the, I pivoted, I pivoted. Um, like I said, as far as wellness goes, like wellness is an overall goal for my five year plan for the next five years, like finding out really what that's going to mean for me. And I have a whole video coming up where I share what, what I've gleaned from that. I was trying a bunch of different things this quarter to develop and maintain like a wellness routine or rituals, right? But I really had to figure out what it truly means to take care of myself outside of the commodified aspect of things. And like I said, I have a video coming up, but tea time has been great. I've been taking my vitamins most of the time, my other pills most of the time. I got a pill box to help me. It's actually travel pill box that I'm using all the time. I'll link it to help me moving forward because I got to do better um, on that end of things. And like I said, you know, I just want to feel good in my body and um, just more harmony right in my life not balance because i don't think that's possible with the kind of life work life i have but harmony where i don't feel burnt out where i feel rested most of the time i say that when i slept bad last night but that was because of a nightmare <laughs> that'll be a story time after i get over it. it was a real nightmare um and then as far as family and relationships go i just wanted to maintain them and be supportive in those so i would this really um had a lot to do with my friendships and things and just relationships overall i just wanted to make sure that i was being as supportive as i could be especially right now while the world is like on a steep decline right i just wanted to be a supportive member of my community and i'm doing that um jace hit my whole heart the other week because i came over i went to their house and i was just playing i went to play with him so i was playing with him and he goes, Atikia, you're the best auntie ever. And he has more than one auntie. So I was like, it got me all the way in the fields. Like I didn't prompt that. It came out of nowhere. 
and he'd be like real upset when I gotta go <laughs> so like I feel like I might be doing okay in this department I'm trying to be supportive overall just when I'm talking to my family members my friends just making a concerted effort to ask them about themselves and following it up as well and not just like them calling me when um, they want to support me or, or it's just being a more supportive person overall I think that's working out well financially uh, it's, it's okay <laughs> um, we'll, we'll get into financial in a moment here but overall I think it's doing well I did want to uh, shore up like some things with my business and I will say I read profit first early in the year and I've been working the profit first model with that and that's been working out so well like even with just my sinking funds um, my owner's draw etc I'll link the book I have been doing the percentages as prescribed for the income of my business and it is just it's revolutionized things I'm actually saving a profit which I wasn't before it was like I would have my operations money my seeking fund my savings for taxes but I didn't have like a profit fund and I need that <laughs> to grow like the opportunities with my business right as we go to take advantage of things as well I just need to have a profit and it's only it's so small as far as like the overall percentage but it's grown fast and it's I'll link the book if you have a business you haven't read profit first I do recommend it I do if anything it just ha helps you have like different conversations with your accountant physical environment I really just wanted to maintain an, my environment despite how busy I may get my environment seems to be a real reflection of my mental right like it looks a hot mess when I'm just trying to make it day by day and this year that has not been the reality most of the time when I started to feel burnt out I actually took vacation time <laughs> um, so I feel like that is serious serious progress and we'll just see how it goes now let's get into my biggest fail <laughs> it's pretty big considering me being me y'all see the stack of books no not that stack this stack <laughs> you can't even see it this is the number of books I have finished this year and this one I reread like two times I only reread this one once y'all for me that is one book a month completed that is pissed poor for me if you know like I in the past I've read anywhere from 52 to 100 books a year and this year I cannot seem to finish books I've read several like I've picked up several that I started and have not finished I, I've I'm in the middle of like three other books but even then like I'm just not reading many books oh no there's one romance novel that is not listed here because I always keep it on my um, iPad but uh, y'all I don't know what it is. is is it that like I feel too overwhelmed to do it or like when it comes down to it at the end of the night I turn on the TV instead of read because I feel like I've I've had so much stimulus from work throughout the day but like this brings me joy and learning brings me joy reading fiction brings me joy I've got to figure it out um, because this is something that I know helps me relax and I could use every tool possible to find relaxation and so I'm putting myself on a 90 day challenge from spring to summer I'm gonna read every day I'm gonna miss a day so that's why it's 90 days but I'm gonna read every day I don't care how much time I really want to add it to my morning ritual I that's where it used to be um, but I'm reading every day uh, I really just want to read some of these books I own I even bought new books guys I have a budget of 200 for the year because I have so many unread books yet I've already spent like 80 odd dollars now this was this was one inner workout life-changing more on that later but y'all oh there's another one audiobook I finished an audiobook so five books total um but yeah I'm gonna try these challenges I'm gonna try to do better and I'll stick with my budget because I I'm gonna try not to buy any books maybe no more than one per spring or summer we're gonna try for that maybe I'll put myself on the Zorin O'Hurston challenge speaking of money let's chat about money all right so I asked about this on um YouTube and I asked about this on Patreon. Patreon gave me some of the most detailed and insightful answers and I'm here for it. They basically, and I've said this already, it's to you all. They basically were like, look, share what you want to share. Let that be that. 
but keep some things on Patreon, and that is what I'm going to do. Um, I did get a promotion this year already, which was totally unexpected, and there's a lot I don't share because the world is in a bad place, right? Um, I'm always be supportive of my community, and that is what I, sh I will share publicly. On Patreon, I sh I'm going to continue to share more of the buying, right? So my capsule wardrobe, pieces from that on Patreon. Spring products on Patreon. I'm going to come to y'all when I have tried things, when something is like really special. Other than that, I do want to acknowledge that the world is changing. Inflation is high. The price of life is high. And there's no bailout in sight. So you guys, I'm, like I said, I'm going to keep asking. Y'all tell me what you want me to talk about. If you want me to talk about any career stuff, any money stuff, let me know. I'm actually asking members and Patreon supporters for uh, questions for Q&A. Um, so you can submit questions that way. And you just let me know what you want to see. My camera's dying, so we're going to make this as fast as possible. Obviously, obviously, this is the end of the day. Make us off, hair's down. Yeah, so, bought these shoes for summer. <laughs> and time to open them up and see what's what. But, you see this hair tower? I got, this is the last thing I have to go through. Last thing I have to declutter. I have done everything else. Um, if you la watch my last vlog, you see, you saw the start of it. You watch my next vlog and you see all the beauty stuff. Um, what I decluttered, what I purchased, etc. So make sure you watch the next vlog so you don't have to ask me what I'm using. <laughs> uh, and also, of course, Patreon. These are my summer brown sandals. I have a whole capsule wardrobe post on my blog. I'll link it below. But my word of the year is intentional and I have been living very intentionally. This first quarter was very intentional. Q2, I am gonna live intentionally blissful. I am gonna say yes to people and all the things. I'm going to say yes to the concerts. I'm gonna say yes to being outside. I'm gonna say yes to whatever makes me blissfully happy. I'm gonna romanticize the hell out of my life <laughs> this quarter and just really enjoy these 90 days. It's like a long time, but a very short amount of time. Too short to be unhappy, especially after this weird winter weather. We had a lot of gray days. I'm going to choose bliss for spring and I hope you do too.